What is going on guys and girls welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Holy Fury and Emperor Olaf the Accursed and um, I've been checking out our great works again and I've realized that the gardens here have an interesting feature we could build as well. Uh, we can build some fountains because we are a bit of a poet, preserver of poetry, so why not have some fountains that increases the poet opinion so um, yeah, I think now that we're not as afraid anymore, as paranoid, uh, we might as well also spend some time in the gardens and not so much in our underground city. In fact, we could even expand the gardens. Well, I guess I'm going to hold off on this. We really do not have that much money. I think we'll uh, we'll hold off a little bit. Um, wait, did I? Oh, I inherited some lands. Oh, yeah, right. Well, I'm going to... I'm going to have to give this land to you. I didn't even notice. So there you go. That's your land to, ha to hold. Okay, good. So we have still one too many vassals. Um, let me check if we can... We have only opponents here. Hmm. That's annoying. Oh well, nothing I can do. So, this is part of the North Sea Empire. 45 more years. 75 more years. Oh, 25 more years. It's actually, or 27 rather. That's actually really good. Hmm. Okay, we'll wake this guy up. And are we going to be friends with him? No, it's just grateful. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to be part of your wars. The hectic life of a ruler rarely allows for sufficient time for contemplation. Seclude ourselves. I think that's something we'll definitely do. Uh, we're a shy person anyways. So we'll do penance. God shall be my companion. In fact... The Mongols sack Venice. What? No way. Ha! Huh. Well, that's funny. The canals of Venice have been blocked by the bloated corpses of the dead as the city is sacked by frenzied Mongol warriors. Those few fortunate enough to have escaped the slaughter claim the bodies are packed tightly enough in the Venetian lagoon for the Mongols to ride to and from the mainland as they please. Yeah, surely that can't be true. But that's interesting. Why are you at war? Holy war for the Oclea. The king of Greece. Oh. Oh, so Venice is attacking the King of Greece. Ah. So yeah, but that's funny that they've sacked that. Alright. We definitely need more diplomacy. I think we'll try and make this out on our own. Um, because we're a shy person, right? Now, a true follower of the rule of St. Basil does not give up easily. I kept at it, reading the passage again and again, compared it with other holy texts, and mulled over the wording for hours at end. It went slowly, but every now and then I uncovered a new piece of the puzzle, and suddenly I saw it. Such elegance, such depth. Uh, I will carry this re revelation with me until the day I die. Wow, we become an erudite. The wisdom of God is infinite and indisputable. All right. Well, I mean, we are focusing on theology, so we should be good at it. We just had such a troubled past. Now, Arcadia is Samarithian. Hmm. Now, my priest always talks about the importance of charity and do give alms to the poor on a regular basis. However, I often feel reluctant when doing so, and it brings me shame. While doing penance, I have had plenty of time to think about it. Perhaps I should strive to be more charitable. I still give, don't I? Sure, that must be enough. I don't give enough. I will make another donation. What is our vice that we're trying to overcome? Arbitrary? Being arbitrary, I think. Alright. Well, I guess we'll try and overcome. We'll try to be better person. When my wife's mare had been had to be put down, I promised that I would find a new suitable ride for her. It 
The black one is magnificent. Poof. I guess we'll just give a new horse. We're not going to invest too much. Now, I ordered one of my most trusted servants to take a substantial sum of money from my personal treasury and bring it to the local monastery. However, as soon as he left the room, I regretted my decision. When my servant returned, I could not help myself and he immediately demanded he would go and get the money back. Wow. That's interesting. Well, that didn't help at all. At least I got the money back. Hmm. Oh, wow, I've heard some disturbing tales regarding your time in holy seclusion. I fear that you are not yet ready for contemplation. I expect it of you. We will revisit this mission at a later date. Oh, wow, you can actually fail. Interesting. It's the voices in our head, I suppose. <sighs> We're trying our best, man. It just doesn't work. So. Wait, wasn't he? Oh, that's... Now this is interesting. He's embraced a dangerous heresy, no doubt influenced by local preachers. Ah, <sighs> man, this is so weird because... He was the person we hired. Like, we paid money to get an orthodox guy uh, to our court. He was the patriarch of the North Sea Empire, you know. And now he's turned Qatar. Um... We have a scholarly and bookish disposition. You know, I think... I think we'll let it slide. I mean, we can always do this. It's always gonna work, which is... It's just a bit weird. Because this guy has higher learning, so technically he's smarter than we are, right? Can we even arrange a marriage for him? I mean, he would just reconvert. Hmm. I guess I'll let it slide. Whatever. It's fine. Duke of Moray claims the Viceroy of Ireland is attempting to promote vile heresies. He's a member of the independence faction. Yeah, that will not do. I just gave you the vice royalty. And I think France is going to deal with these peasants. I don't have to do it. The daughter of the devil. Wow. What a name. Okay, France is dealing with it. Now, for long, for long while now, you have not felt the presence of God in your thoughts. You are starting to wonder whether there really is any truth in the Bible, or if perhaps it is just an old book written by clever liars. Ah, oh, man. It must be so God is dead. I think we'll go with this. These blasphemous feelings will soon pass. I could see us becoming depressed here. Crusade for Trace. Oh, wow. Against the Mongols. Interesting. In a grand announcement, the Pope declares a crusade for Trace. The Christian lords gather from all across the world to bring Trace into the fold of Christian kingdoms and out of infidel hands. The Tracian lands have been long under the rule of the barbaric heathen Kagan in Nancha of the Mongol Empire. Well, Deus Volt, we'll sh we shall see. But for once, no crusade against me. That's awesome. So, is Lotharingi a part of this crusade? Yes. Alright. Well, good for you. You're my chancellor and designated regent as well. Just so you know. I can usurp. Oh, wait. Galicia Vonia got gobbled up. I can usurp the Kaganate of Novgorod. Uh, which I might do, I guess. Okay, Gunzelin. We still have this guy here. 
give him a stewardship education. And my wife was going to take care of this guy. Spawn of Satan. Alright. Um, the Duchy of Twer can be usurped. And given to... King of Denmark? Wait, I have too many held duchies? Oh, I do. Oh my god. Holy shit. I didn't even know. Alright, so that guy's happy. Um, so, what is Denmark going to say now? Likes me more? Wants to see on the council. Let's usurp this and give it to Denmark. There you go. Now you're happy. Awesome. Okay, we're no longer over the vast limit either. That's nice. You're known as the unfaithful. Uh, okay. How? You don't even have a lover. Surprising. But oh well. I believe it. If you say so, man. Okay, fountains have been built in the garden. So we could upgrade them again. A hidden burial spot, poisonous flowers, a herb garden, a vineyard, pet graveyard. I don't think we'll do any of this. I think we're fine with what we have here. So this crusade is probably going very well. 1% in favor of the Pope Stephanus. Why is he so dirty? Wow. But yeah, and like the Mongols... I don't even know who is helping them. It, it, I can't see. But, I mean, they have a few men. Kind of depends. I don't know. I think, they, I think the crusade will be successful. Trace isn't really that large anyway. Yeah, they, they will be definitely successful. Mm, sure, we'll support this. Whatever they do. Center for Travelers. Oh, wow. An extra holding slot in Naumadal. Uh, that's cool. What are we going to build? I guess we'll build a new church. Yeah. Exactly. So the Duchess of Holland died. Bernard IV has taken over. Mm, improve relations with our feudal vassals. And a large caravan will, will let them in. And do I accept this eunuch? Sure. I wonder if I can give you... Yeah, the honorary title of court eunuch. There you go. Alright, did something change? Yeah. King Sotan the monster, he lost lands. Here. At least it looks like he did. I'm confused though. Hmm. Man, this guy is kind of indestructible, it seems. Are you the heir to Lotharingia? Yes, you are. And then you're Qatar again. Huh. Well, I always imagined I would be the first of us to go, but now I am the one mourning the departure of my dear friend. Never again will I hear his jolly laugh. Okay. Friendship will only hurt you in the end. Oh, Kettlemund, the Purifier. I 
I think as a shy person, this might be... Either we do this. I think we might do this. But if another one of our friends dies before us, then I think we're gonna uh, lose all the connections. But we did not become depressed, so... We are somewhat strong. So how are you guys doing? How has the Pope not sieged this down yet? Okay, so these troops have arrived. There's a bit of a battle going on. Lotharingia is actually doing a good job. They have a lot of men. Why can you be imprisoned? Stop doing weird things, please. Who wants control of Cola? Do I have control over Cola? Yes. Well, that's not good. I'll... I'll help you. There you go. You happy now? Well, somewhat. He desires the kingdom. He's zealous and ambitious. Alright, we'll not get giving out any more lands, though. These are my lands. I don't want to give them all away. I wonder what happens if Lotharina gets these lands. Because it seems like they might be getting these lands. Well, there's plenty of other people here. They're just the only ones I see, I guess. I don't know who this bastard is. So you go to the faith. But my steward did die. I guess... Well, there goes my wife. Coming the new steward. Wow, we have so little interaction with our wife, man. Holy shit. Freaking genius. I mean, she's chast. Maybe a private conversation could be good. We'll see what she has to say. Learning more about roses. Uh... Yeah, we'll send someone. I'm not going to go personally. Funds to maintain charitable charitable functions. We hope you are able to spare some of your worldly possessions. Yeah, we'll be donating to charity. That's fine. Alright, 100 gold. That's not too bad. That was not too bad. And we can actually rank up. Let's do that. We can take a vow of celibacy and give spiritual guidance. Alright, and we gain some rose... Oh, rose gods. That's awesome. Alright, so we advance to the next level. We have... Our fertility was already reduced. Okay. Can take a vow of celibacy and give spiritual guidance within your realm. Remove vices. Okay, we'll teach her about orthodoxy. And there was the Victorious Crusade. This guy is Muslim. But this guy, King Khan Raoul the Pilgrim of Trace. Uh, okay. There's Stefan. And anyone else? Ah, my kinsman. So, yeah. Hungarian Catholic. He was probably... Oh yeah, he hates... He hated my father. Um, okay, that makes sense. I think he was the one that was uh, the beneficiary of Lotharingia. So that's why he gained Adrianopolis. Which is quite an important city, obviously. Alright. Well, that's nice, I suppose. Crusader King. Praise God. King Aistin... Oh, wait. So... God has granted Aston of Lotharingia victory. Uh, Kaganinansha of the Mongol Empire has been beaten at every turn through the war and he has finally had to give up on his holdings in Trace. Uh, the new lands have been granted to the Latin Emperor. The Pope has made an announcement of the victory in virtue of the Crusaders as the true faithful protectors of the faith. Praise God. Good. Now if they were Orthodox it would be much better. And now my wife has given us a nice tithe. Very good. She's doing a good job. And wow, she's even pregnant. Holy shit. Wow. I would have never expected that. <laughs> to be honest, that's actually news to me. Now, upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, we decided to make a toast. 
Now, no need to draw attention to ourselves. That's actually a 10% chance we die. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> How? That was a 10% chance. Wow. Emperor Olaf the Fourth. <laughs> the accursed has given up the ghost at age 32. He died in an accident. A humble man, he never wanted anyone to make a fuss over his accomplishments. A godly man, Olaf, Olaf is with Jesus now. Emperor Torbrand, merely five years old, the realm is left in the capable hands of the regent and council. Now this is a very interesting situation because um, finally this woman was pregnant. But too late. Torbrand is the new emperor. And with Qatar again, when a regency, the sword of the Blessed Virgin is the regent. Quite a man. Um. Hmm. And a new uh, is our mother. We don't have any traits at age five. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. We're five years old. We need a new steward. Okay, let me quickly see if Aysen has any friends. Duke of Modena, not really. He just doesn't like the Queen of France. So he'll likely appoint the Queen of Scotland as steward to keep the realm smooth. And as court chaplain, he'll appoint this guy. Or Anna. Princess Anna. Actually, no. He'll appoint someone Catholic. Yeah. Or nobody in this particular case. He would want someone Catholic here. Not a Katara, but I think this is simply impossible for me. Alright, well, that... Pfft. I mean, I kind of... I, I sort of expected it, like, jokingly. But I didn't actually expect we would die. So, that's kind of funny. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.